In this video, we're going to focus on how we can adjust in a donut slice which corner will get a border radius and which one will keep as a standard. So to do this, what we need to have first is our boiler template here, as you can see. So what we want to do here is to get the boiler template, go to chargeyes3.com, getting started, this specific link here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel. All the links are in the description box. Let's convert this first into a pie or a donut chart. So I'm going to save that, refresh. So we can see here, let's remove the scales. We don't need that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here, border radius. I'm going to set it on 10, save, refresh. If you do this, what will happen is immediately every corner is being set. And what I want to do now is to split that out and specifically change, for example, the upper corner and the other outer corner here. So what we can do here, the border radius is built based on four items for the donut chart. Where we can say here, outer start, and then we can say here 10. If I do this, save, refresh, what will happen is only the outer start, which is this one here, will be now uh, a has a border radius, while the others do not, as you can see here, every one of them. So what I can do here as well is, outer end and I'm going to say here 10 save there we are now we only have the outer edges if we want to have the inner edges it's basically the same logic we're going to say here inner start of 10 or let's make this 5 so you can see a clear difference and now you can see here the inner has a border radius which is of 5 pixels and of course we can say here inner end for the ending part of the inner shape and there we are now we have these if i hide those or remove those the outer what will happen is only the inner will have the rounded border radius like that 